Hey, this is Joe Jackson, Outside Online's Gear Guy, and it's very often that I'm asked what the best fill is for a sleeping bag. My first question in reaction to that is, are you gonna get it wet? If it's gonna get wet, you go synthetic. If it's not gonna get wet, you go down. If you're like me and are involved in water sports, sometimes things happen. Your sleeping bag just gets wet. Historically, it's been an easy question to answer, but now there's a new player in the game. It's treated down, and we're gonna see how that works. So tonight, I'm at about 9,000 feet up in the Sierras to see how three completely different fills of sleeping bags will keep me warm when completely wet. These bags are all rated right around 30 degrees. They're three season bags. And luckily where we're at right now is right around that range, like 30-ish degrees. It also happens to be windy and there's snow on the ground. What we're gonna do is get these bags wet, wring them out, and I'm gonna get inside of each one of them and see how long I can handle it until I start to shiver. I've now been in this Big at Agnes synthetic sleeping bag for 47 minutes, and I'm absolutely blown away at how long it kept me comfortable. But now, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm in the Sierra Designs dry down filled sleeping bag, and I've been in it for about 23 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I'm all done. Uh, the thermorest that was filled with down that was treated with Nick's wa Nick wax worked incredibly well. But again, it didn't do quite as well as the synthetic when soaked. And I think I'm just about done at 30 minutes. The clear winner was the Big Agnes Windlip 28. I was able to spend 47 minutes in relative comfort until the very end in this bag, soaking wet in 30-ish degree weather with snow. Based on my experience last night, I think a strong argument can be made that while treated down has come a really long way, if you're gonna be in a soaking wet sleeping bag, synthetic is your best bet. For more information about these bags, including how long it took them to dry, as well as how well they did when they actually were dry, check out my column, outsideonline.com backslash gearguy.